Hello and welcome to this video on the excretory system. In this video, we will be discussing the various aspects of the excretory system, including the types of nitrogenous wastes, types of excretory organs, and the ornithine cycle. The excretory system eliminates various types of nitrogenous wastes produced in the body. There are three types of nitrogenous wastes, ammonia, urea, and uric acid. Ammonia is the most toxic, followed by urea, and uric acid is the least toxic. Ammonia is produced by the breakdown of proteins and nucleic acids. Urea is formed in the liver from ammonia and is the primary nitrogenous waste in humans and other mammals. Uric acid is produced by the breakdown of nucleotides in birds, reptiles, and some insects. Excretory organs are present in all kingdoms of classification. In animals, the excretory organs vary depending on the complexity of the organism. For example, in protozoa, contractile vacuoles perform the excretory function, while in annelids, nephridia perform the function. In arthropods, malpighian tubules are responsible for excretion, and in mammals, the kidneys perform the function. The ornithine cycle is a metabolic pathway that occurs in the liver and helps to eliminate toxic ammonia. In this cycle, ammonia is converted to urea, which is less toxic and is excreted from the body. The ornithine cycle involves a series of enzyme-catalyzed reactions that convert ammonia to urea. The cycle starts with the conversion of ammonia to carbamol phosphate, which is then combined with ornithine to form citrulline. Citrulline is then transported into the mitochondria, where it reacts with aspartate to form argininosuccinate. Argininosuccinate is then cleaved into fumarate and arginine, which is then hydrolyzed to form urea and ornithine. After the urine is formed in the nephrons, it travels down the collecting ducts which are long tubules that run through the medulla and into the renal pelvis. The collecting ducts merge together to form larger tubes called the renal papillae. The renal papillae drain into the minor calyx, which then merge to form the major calyx. The major calyx further merge to form the renal pelvis, which is a funnel-shaped cavity that collects urine from the major calyces. From the renal pelvis, urine flows down the ureter and into the urinary bladder. When the bladder is full, the urine is eliminated from the body through the urethra during the process of micturition. Micturition, also known as urination, is the process of voiding urine from the body. It is controlled by the urinary bladder, which stores urine until it is ready to be expelled. As the bladder fills with urine, it stretches, and sensory receptors in the bladder wall send signals to the spinal cord. The spinal cord then sends signals to the detrusor muscle, which contracts and causes the bladder to empty. The urine then passes through the urethra and is expelled from the body. The kidneys are bean-shaped organs located on either side of the spine, behind the abdominal cavity. They are covered by a layer of connective tissue called the renal capsule, which protects them from trauma. The nephrin is the functional unit of the kidney and is responsible for filtering blood and producing urine. It is composed of two main parts, the renal corpuscle and the renal tubule. The renal corpuscle consists of the glomerulus, a network of capillaries, and Bowman's capsule, a cup-shaped structure that surrounds the glomerulus. The renal tubule consists of several segments, including the proximal convoluted tubule, the loop of Henle, and the distal convoluted tubule. There are two types of nephrons, cortical and juxtamedullary. Cortical nephrons are located primarily in the cortex of the kidney and have a shorter loop of Henle. Juxtamedullary nephrons are located at the border between the cortex and the medulla and have a longer loop of Henle that extends deep into the medulla. The renal tubules are lined with specialized epithelial cells that are responsible for the reabsorption and secretion of various substances. 
The proximal convoluted tubule is lined with cuboidal epithelial cells, while the loop of Henle is lined with thin squamous epithelial cells. The distal convoluted tubule is lined with cuboidal epithelial cells that are specialized for the reabsorption and secretion of ions. The glomerulus is responsible for filtering blood and producing a fluid called filtrate, which is then processed by the renal tubules to form urine. The juxtaglomerular cells are specialized cells located near the glomerulus that help to regulate blood pressure and kidney function. They produce a hormone called renin, which activates the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system, RAS, a complex system that helps to regulate blood pressure and electrolyte balance. This is the end of today's section. We will discuss the chapter further in next video. So, for latest updates, subscribe the channel and click the bell icon to get the notifications. Take care and bye-bye.